Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the NPF browser fully so you can download games like PS1 games, PSP games, PS Vita games on your Mac. If you're interested on do, in doing this on a platform like Windows or Linux, I've got videos covering that so feel free to check them out. I just want to say this video is for educational purposes, I am not condoning piracy. I own the games that I use to download from there and yes, just for educational purposes. Okay, so it's really simple to do on Mac, a lot easier than it is on Windows. Just Google NPF Browser, it's down to no pay station. And there we go. Go to Mac OS, click that. It will take you to the GitHub link. You can download the code and compile it using Xcode if you really want to. You don't need to do that. Go to releases and then in here grab the latest release whenever that is the dmg and as you can see it's not very big and you don't need to hook any of these tsv files they are automatically already hooked in there so but what i will show you is just in case they're not for you just in case I'll show you what to do. So if we okay, we can open this up now. MPS browser and drag and drop down to applications. MPS browser. There we go. If we launch this up, click open. Oh, I'll slow this down. And there we go. It's already loaded up. So we can go to like the DLC. Just receiving data depending on you know when you last selected it it might take a little while psv tools a lot quicker and then we can go to psp as well you can go to different regions that's not really much of an issue and this will tell you your current downloads you can also reload the database and you can also go to preferences and in here a few things that you can look at hide items with invalid url probably best if you put that you can select or ch choose how many downloads you can have at any given time and you can also choose where your downloads you know your files download for me it'll be in here the mps downloads and do and make sure you have extract pkg after downloading Create no NPDRM license with extraction. And the other three, I mean, unless you really want them, you can leave. Because the PKG after extraction, you generally want to use it for disk space purposes. You can save the decrypted PKG zip file again, unless you have a specific need for it, no need. And you can compress the PSP ISOs to CSO. That's pretty cool. I remember using CSOs back in the day. And if these links aren't in there for you, they're really easy to get hold of. You go back to the No PlayStation website, and if you go to like PSV, which is PSV tag, you want the games, right click that, copy link address, and go to MPS, and just literally paste it. So if the links aren't already there, then that's what you do. You just literally copy and paste them into here, but they should be all good. Click save. And now uh, to download again, so if you if I select flow for example, and uh, it's good they show you the file size, click download, and if we go to the download section, it's downloading right there. So it's not immediately obvious that it is downloading, because if you look, you don't know, but there it is. And this is a short small game, so it's not gonna take that long. And it's done. It's extracted as well, depending on the size of the game, it might take a little longer. And if we go to downloads now, go to MPS, PSP, PSP image, ISO, and there's that particular ISO that we just downloaded the game. So that's it. That's how you set up the MPS browser for your Mac. And like I said, this is for educational purposes, not condoning piracy. If you have any questions, feel free to check out our Discord group. There will be a channel for PSP and all of that good stuff and ROMs and emulators. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.